Abigail Jess, for thousands of Oklahomans, this just became real. The mom you're about to meet begging lawmakers here at the Capitol to find a solution. We need them to come up with a resolution that doesn't impact the most vulnerable in Oklahoma. Find another way other than taking away services. Simply put, Tori Collier is scared. A program from the Department of Human Services, vital to her family's livelihood, could be on the chopping block. You're talking about real people, you know, real lives. Collier's 16 year old son has autism. The program provides him with a caregiver while Collier and her husband work full time. Without it, she says she would be forced to quit her job and take care of her son. I just really pray every day that, you know, they work it out and find a solution because we're real families, you know, trying to take care of our families the best way that we can and we need these services. That program, just one of many on a list DHS is considering cutting right now. DHS, the Health Care Authority, and Department of Health and Substance Services were told by the state to eliminate $214 million from their budgets immediately. Today, Governor Mary Fallon placing the blame on lawmakers. The public doesn't care whose fault it is. They just want to see these problems resolved. Now, all three of those agencies have until the end of the month to finalize which programs will be cut. Meanwhile, here at the Capitol, the special session is in a stalemate. Reporting live from the Capitol, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.